Hi there, I'm Maciej Bagaczka and this is Secret of Tennis. Today we're going to talk about the forehand side. I'm going to give you some tips uh, how to improve your forehand side. We're going to talk about the uh, uh, backswing, how, uh, what is important in the backswing. We're going to talk about the uh, double bend uh, technique. Then we're going to talk about the proper drop, when to do the uh, drop with the racket and uh, in the end we're going to talk about the follow through, we're going to compare the uh, old school follow through with the uh, modern follow through. In the first exercise I would like to show you on what you should focus uh, in the beginning of the forehand when you turn your upper body. So first of all, uh, you should have a double bend technique. So elbow and wrist is slightly uh, bent. Uh, we're gonna use the ball. I'm gonna put the ball here to this uh, space between the fingers and the ball shouldn't drop. So I hold the ball there and now I have a good uh, double bend uh, technique. And now I'm going to work on my uh, upper body turn. So I'm going to turn my upper body and I'm going to try to keep the ball up there. So I'm going to turn and this is for me and I'm sure also it's going to help you the best and the, the most simple turn you can do you have to uh, focus also on the distance between the, the body and the elbow. Shouldn't be too close, shouldn't be too far because we have a slightly bent uh, elbow and wrist as well. So this is a good way how you can uh, improve the beginning the, of your forehand uh, upper body turn. Now I'm going to show you uh, uh, this uh, exercise uh, with the ball, I'm gonna turn and now I'm gonna hit the ball. The ball gonna drop but that's not uh, important, okay? I turn and I hit. So uh, this uh, exercise with the ball can really help you to to get better the upper body turn and to have a good uh, uh, technique, double bend technique. In the second exercise, I'm gonna talk about the racket drop, about the timing of the racket drop, when, in, in which moment to drop the racket under the ball and then uh, hit the ball. So many players around the world struggle with the racket drop, with the timing of the racket drop. So many of you drop too early and wait here. What is not good? Because this, this has to be one movement. So many of you drop too late and hit the ball behind your body. And it's actually very simple. You have to drop the racket when the ball bounces. Exactly in the moment when the ball bounces on your side, in front of you, you should drop the racket face. Now I'm gonna demonstrate, uh, I'm gonna say in the moment of the bounce drop and I'm really gonna do that drop and gonna hit the ball. Drop, drop, drop. So you could see that the, when I drop the racket when the ball bounce uh, my timing was uh, excellent and I hit the ball properly in front uh, and I uh, uh, do it uh, correctly. I'm sure this exercise can improve uh, your forehand and uh, I hope uh, you're gonna do it and uh, you're gonna get better. In the third uh, exercise I want to explain you uh, why you should use the modern, modern way of the follow-through, not the old school. Uh, let me demonstrate the old school and the, the modern way. The old school after contact goes uh, to the ear on the shoulder and the length of the follow-through is short. If you do the 
modern across the body and you finish with the racket next to the left shoulder the length of the follow through is longer so you can accelerate the racket more than with the short follow through here the acceleration is not that high as here so this is the main uh, difference why you should uh, uh, use the modern you should try to use the modern follow through because you can hit a uh, more powerful shot you can swing faster because the land after the contact is is uh, longer so you can accelerate the racket uh, faster now I'm gonna show you the the modern follow through now let's uh, now let me demonstrate the old school follow through And one more time the uh, the modern one next to the shoulder so definitely the modern way is is better is faster so you should uh, you should try it and uh, I'm sure you're gonna get better your forehand today I try to help you with your forehand We've done uh, free exercises. I gave you a couple of uh, advices. Uh, we started with the preparation with the upper body turn. I recommend you to use uh, the ball uh, for the proper double bend technique and also for the uh, good, uh, not too fast uh, turn. Then we continue with the timing of the racket drop. It's very simple, the ball bounces, you drop the racket and hit the ball. Uh, if you try this exercise, uh, you will not hit the ball too late, you will not drop the racket too early and stop here and slow down the speed of the racket. And then uh, in the end I explained you the differences between old school uh, follow through to the ear and new modern uh, follow through to the uh, shoulder next to the shoulder the biggest difference is that the length of the follow-through is uh, is uh, longer uh, when you when you go across the body so you can accelerate the racket and you can hit much faster I hope you like these exercises and I'm sure they're gonna help you to improve your tennis Game, set the net.